Hey guys, uh, this is a video that I should have done a long time ago. Never actually got around to it. Um, when I originally purchased this, I had contacted the person, gotten some specs uh, from the original maker, so that that way I could do a better video of it. Um, and he was a little bit skeptical as towards me doing a review on this, and um, whether or not if I had the proper equipment to do it and everything else like that. So um, basically, let's just go ahead and get on with it. Uh, this is the item that I had purchased. It is called a SAR 1911 TDT. The TDT stands for a takedown tool. And that is what this little cutout right here is for. Um, basically, uh, this little cutout area right here is meant and intended for. First, let's go ahead and do a safety check. You can see there's no magazine and no round in the chamber. So you guys could see that. So there are no rounds inside of the of the gun um, but technically uh, basically what this is meant for as you guys can see um, is the bushing on the barrel which is technically the main piece along with your slide pin which is this piece right here uh, to remove the actual slide so that you can take down your firearm and clean it um, the reason why I'm doing this today is because I was recently uh, recently went out shooting and um, I was going to be cleaning this out and uh, just kind of got that thought in my head. Um, not to mention I had completely forgotten that I even had this. Um, so, uh, I did do a test to break it down um, and in that test if you guys can see this, but I scratched up the G10, um, but that's its all intended purpose is for field use. This knife was meant and intended for field use. Um, don't know if the gentleman that originally made this has any field experience, um, but as I haven't done more info or finding out more info about him. Um, but I'll go over the entire knife. Uh, the handles are made of G10 and titanium. Pocket clip is titanium. Um, let's see here. Pivot screw is a nice beefy pivot screw. Um, as well as the rest of the screws around the housing. Um, it's got a very good solid lockup and it's a very smooth I mean it's very very smooth in its action it's got a good nice lockup absolutely zero up and down blade play hmm. never felt that before I just didn't have it fully engaged. I think my finger was like pushing on this. Yeah, that's what it was. My finger was pushing on it. So, solid lockup. <clears throat> um, the uh, thumb studs are made out of titanium. Um, this is a piece of titanium, bronze anodized, with uh, this piece right here. What that in basically is supposed to be is a 45 caliber round um, backside along with the um, sorry kinda having a brain fart here uh, the primer sorry of the 1911 round or the 45 caliber round um, let's see here so um, I would do the takedown again guys, but I really don't care to scratch this up in case if I ever do have to sell it, um, but I did test it, it does work, it definitely does work, I mean it fits in there, it's snug fit, but it definitely did work, um, 
I'm sorry I didn't get it on camera but I also wasn't really thinking um, originally that I was going to end up scratching this up uh, basically if I were to get a covered um, uh, spring re or yeah the spring release that's this piece right here which you have to push down to release the bushing for those that don't know firearms um, basically so that that you have to push this in and it'll release the bushing but that's extremely sharp edges right there I mean let's see here as you can see what it does to my thumb so that's basically what I'm more weary about with this uh, coming at that it's such a high value item I just don't care to damage it you know um, the gentleman who makes these did a fantastic job in my opinion um, it's very well made very ergonomic in the hand it's got a nice comfortable feel to it the jimping on it is smooth but it also grabs very very well um, all this texture that you see around the handle is smoothed out so he spent a lot of time on this um, doing the file work and everything else so even though it's got texture to it it's still smooth but when you're gripping the knife your hand isn't going anywhere I mean, it's got a good solid lock on that G10 so as you can hear it's rough but at the same time it's smooth uh, all the edges are well rounded so there's no sharp corners or anything like that except on the blade edge of course it, the edge came very very sharp I mean this thing is insane sharp um, tip isn't super as you can see it's not super sharp such as you know the Sabenza or the Spenza the Str Strider SNG or you know my Zeramano I mean this thing is that's a spear point right there but uh, very very nice knife um, all in all um, these do or should I say he sold these uh, for four hundred and fifty dollars um, he had a limited um, amount of these made uh, it was I believe 35 pieces and um, I don't know if I could get this in there but I got number 25 um, all of his G10 as well as the titanium was all completely file worked differently um, so each piece is actually original um, in its own so no two are alike uh, even though he made 35 of these um, there are no two alike uh, I'm still getting that blade play well there we go now it's locked in there so that was a little bit of a concern um, the clip is adequate it's got good stiffness to it um, but it's not super duper tight uh, it's got nice pocket play so that or if you were to decide to attach this to a belt um, that way you've got room in there and it'll attach to your belt nicely overall this is a very large knife so there it is in comparison to the S&G and let's take that out of there and the Will Zermano um, let's see here overall length is nine and three quarters inches actual blade from handle to tip is slightly over four inches and closed would be at five and seven eighths no five and just under three quarters or just over a half of <coughs> an inch. Um, blade thickness is decent. It's good in comparison to the um, Strider SNG. Towards the Zeramano, it's, it's 
Couldn't be close, but this is still a very stout, very beefy blade. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with my purchase. Uh, this is a very expensive knife to end up purchasing, um, but it is custom, and the work that was put into it, the time that was put into it, uh, I'm happy with it. Um, hopefully I'll never have to sell it for any reason because I really do like it um, and you know if I ever did need to go out into the field that would probably be the one that I would take with me if I was a 1911 user um, just because that way I don't have to carry one of these things around you know to take down my firearm um, that way it could just be attached to my knife and you know, this would make a definitely a solid duty knife. Um, one thing that you do have to worry about, uh, if ever grabbing onto the knife, um, you should never have to worry about it because it will be placed up against your body. But um, when it's in the pocket or inside of your belt, um, the possibility of you coming in here and slicing yourself up is there. Uh, but Overall, as a looker, I think it adds to the kind of uniqueness, um, being able to see that blade inside of there. Uh, overall, very stout, very nice knife, very comfortable ergonomics, um, fits the hand very well, for my hands anyways. Um, but I like the finger choil that's in there. Um, the jimping is very good when applied. Uh, Overall, very stout, beefy blade, and I'm very um, satisfied with it. If you don't know of Sar Knives, um, he has done some custom slash production runs with uh, some other was with another knife manufacturer. I can't remember um, the name of the company offhand, but. He does a lot of different things, I mean a wide array of things. Uh, he takes high polished, um, I believe it's steel on top of titanium like dog tags uh, that you could use as like a medallion or a keychain and they reflect light so if you're out in the field you can, you know, knock, you know, kind of shine the light. Uh, he also has the same thing but with uh, kind of glow in the dark. Um, attachments, um, things that read off of the moonlight um, so that that way you can see your way if you need to. Uh, very very cool um, cool stuff. This guy makes a lot of really cool stuff for out in the field for um, utility. He makes um, fixed blades. Uh, he's primarily a fixed blade knife maker. Um, I believe this was his first folding production. Uh, knives uh, was the 1911 takedown tool. I'm not positive on that, so don't quote me on it. But um, you guys should check him out. Sar Knives. Um, he's a cool guy. Uh, he's got a video web page on YouTube. I'll annotate that in the description box as well as his uh, website. Uh, well, actually, you could get his website straight off of his YouTube page. So. Um, Check them out, guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks. Bye.